Hi guys, this is Power Land Science and Maths TV. I welcome you all. In this video, we are solving for the value of x in the problem x exponent 6 minus 9x cubed is equal to negative 8. Before I move on to present the solution, I'll be very glad if you pause the video and try your hands on that after which you can compare your solution to mine. Then also, if you are new on this channel, I'll be very glad if you subscribe to this channel. That is if this is the kind of content you are looking for. And so to present the solution, the first step is to identify the term with the least exponent the term with the least exponent and obviously that is going to be 9x cubed because between 9x cubed and x exponent 6 9x cubed has the lowest exponent which is 3 whilst this is 6 so having identified the term with the least exponent the next step is to break x exponent 6 express x exponent 6 to have an exponent like the term with the least exponent that is to have an exponent of 3 and to do that it means that we may have to rewrite the 6 where we know that 6 can be expressed as 3 times 2. So what I'm going to do now is that I can write x exponent 6 as x exponent 3 times 2 minus my 9x cubed is equal to negative 8. Now I can rewrite this also, x exponent 3 times 2. I can rewrite it as x exponent 2 also times 3 because multiplication is commutative. Multiplication is commutative. So this minus 9x cubed is equal to negative 8. Now, from the law of indices, it states that if we have a exponent, a exponent, b times c, it is the same as a exponent, b, everything exponent c. So, Applying that here, I can write x exponent 2 times 3 as x squared everything exponent 3. Since 2 times 3 will give me the x exponent 2 times 3. So all this minus 9x cubed is equal to negative 8. So what I can do here is that I will try to interchange the positions of the exponents, that is these two exponents, I will want to interchange them. So because multiplication is commutative, x exponent 2 all exponent 3 can also be the same as x exponent 3 everything squared since that will still give us what we have here so this minus 9 x cubed is equal to negative 8 so before I can proceed to solve this problem what I can do is that let me replace the x cubes so let's all the s cubes be equal to y 
So after solving for the value of y, I'll come and equate it to x cubed and find the value of x. So this will yield y squared minus 9y is equal to negative 8. Because the highest exponent is 2, it means that this equation is quadratic and therefore I have to express this entire equation in the form in the quadratic equation form. So to do that, I will transfer the negative 8 to the left hand side. So I'm going to get y squared minus 9y plus 8 and this is equal to 0. So I'm going to solve this quadratic equation y squared minus 9y plus 8 is equal to 0. And so to do this, I'm going to find two numbers such that when they are added or subtracted, we will get negative 9. However, when they are multiplied, we get positive 8. And these two numbers are these two numbers are these two numbers are negative 8 and negative 1. Since negative 8 plus negative 1 gives us negative 9. But negative 8 times negative 1 gives us positive 8. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to expand this whole equation using these two numbers. So y squared minus, now I'm going to represent or replace the negative 9y with negative 8y minus y plus 8. Remember, this 2 gives us negative 9. But when we multiply, we get the positive 8. So this should be equal to 0. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize. So factorizing this gives y into bracket y minus 8 minus so sorry minus 1 into bracket i have y minus 8 is equal to 0. remember after the factorization and upon multiplication we should get this original equation so y times y gives us y squared y times negative 8 gives negative 8y negative 1 times y gives negative y and negative 1 times negative 8 gives positive 8 and so putting everything together i'm going to put the brackets together which is y minus 8 we have two brackets which are the same y minus 8 multiply by the outsides which is y minus 1 and this should be equal to 0. Now when you have a situation like this y minus 8 is either equal to 0 or y minus 1 is equal to 0. So if y minus 8 is equal to 0 making y the subject y gives us 8 and over here y gives us 1 but we've already established that let x cubed be equal to y and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to equate these two values to x cubed so if y is equal to 8 x cubed becomes equal to 8 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take cubic roots of both sides 
cubic root of both sides so the cube here cancels the cubic root and x gives now cubic root of 8 is the same as cubic root 8 can be expressed as 2 exponent 3 and therefore x becomes this cube cancels the cubic root and x becomes equal to 2 x becomes equal to 2 so that is it for when y is equal to 8 now when y is equal to 8 x cube becomes equal to 1 and so we are going to find cubic root of both sides so this gives us cubic root of x cube is equal to cubic root of 1 now the cubic root or the nth root of 1 is 1 and so cubic root of 1 is the same as 1 and therefore the values of x in this equation in this equation the values of x are x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 1 and these two values of x satisfy the e this equation thank you for watching this video and let me know any suggestion you have to this solution let me know any other way by which we can solve this problem thank you